Alright, hey guys, it's iPod Touching, iPod Touch Helping here again. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't made a video for quite a while, guys, but uh, I will definitely start making new more videos now. And here I'm just going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPod Touch or iPhone on the new 3.1.3 firmware. Alright, so I'll just prove to you guys quickly that uh, I'm not jailbroken and uh, that I'm on the new 3.1.3 firmware. And to get that, you must download the new iTunes and then just go to Restore and Update it. Right there. So that's your first step. You make sure you're on the new 3.1.3 firmware. And uh, let me just go to General. Let's go down to, where is it here? About. And there it is, right there. 3.1.3 firmware. Right there. All right. So, now that I've proved to you guys that I am on 3.1.3 firmware, you guys must download the Red Snow link. And uh, there's one for the iPod Touch 1st Gen, and the iPhone 1st Gen and 3rd Gen. But do not do this with the new iPhone 3GS or the iPod Touch 3G. And also, do not do this with the iPod Touch 2G MC model. It does not work with that. It only works with the older model alright so I have the iPod touch second gen and this is not the MC model this is the older one but I can do it so I can still do it and uh, once you've done that you're gonna need to download red snow and just open it up like this and you can just exit the document in the background and here it is it says welcome to red snow 0.94 it says 0.94 because this is the, for the iPod touch 2G and um, what you're going to need to do first is actually download the 3.1.2 firmware first. I know that kind of sounds weird, but uh, because this is 3.1.3 jailbreak, but you must do this. So you go to this website, which will, which will be in the video description, and you go down here to where it says iPhones and iPods. Click it and scroll down to whatever iPod or iPhone you have, and as you can see here, I have the iPod Touch 2G, and I'm going to click on the 3.1.2 version. Not the 3.1.3, but the 3.1.2. And then, once you have downloaded that, you must go back into Red Snow and click Browse. So I'm going to browse for that firmware, which is right here, 3.1.2. Just open it up, and it says, is this an MC model of the iPod Touch 2G? Just making sure that you guys do not do this with the MC model. And I say... No, because it's not. Alright, so, now what you guys have to do is just simply click Next. And it'll quickly do its little thing here. Alright guys, so now that we have just uh, put on the 3.1.2 firmware in, this, uh, in Red Snow, um, what you're going to want to do now is install City and stuff, but before I do that, I'm sorry I just cut you guys off and switched to this computer, but it's because my laptop ran out of batteries as I was uh, jailbreaking it, and I screwed up my iPod for a second, so I had to re, uh, restore it and re-jailbreak it, but that doesn't matter. Just keep on following the steps here, guys. And so, now what you guys are going to want to do is definitely make sure Install Cydia is checked, and you can put on Verbose Boot if you want, and Already Pwned means if you're already jailbroken, but I'm not, so I'm just keeping it like this. And uh, I'm actually going to put on a custom boot logo and a custom recovery logo. So I just click custom boot logo, and it's on my desktop. And uh, I'm trying to think of which picture it was. I believe it was this one, though. Or, no, sorry, that's my custom recovery logo. So I got that one on here. And uh, I'm also going to put a custom boot logo on, but it's not saved as a PNG. So I'm just going to make quickly make sure it's saved as PNG file. And there we go, it's saved as PNG file. And I'm going to put on this custom boot logo. And what custom boot logos and stuff like that is just the picture for when you're starting up your iPhone and stuff, alright? So uh, once you guys have done that, you don't need to. If I was you guys, I would probably just click Install Cydia. You just click Next, alright? So uh, now what you're, we're going to want to do is fully turn off our iPod or iPhone. So I'm just going to hold the power button and slide to power off, just like always. Nothing special. But after this we're going to have to put it in DFU mode, alright guys? 
So, to put it in DFU mode, uh, what you do is hold the power button for 3 seconds. Then hold the home and power button for 10 seconds. Then release the power button and hold the home button for about 30 seconds, alright? But what I like to do is click next and it'll tell you the instructions right there. So you have to do it right away though. So I'll quickly show you guys. So click next, power, 1, 2, 3, power and home for 10. I'm holding both. Here we go. 2, 1, 0. Release the power button. Keep on holding the home button for 30 seconds. So here it is. I'm just jailbreaking the iPod right here. This should happen. If anything does go wrong with your iPod or iPhone, don't be scared. Just uh, plug your iPod back in and just restore it back to the 3.1.3 firmware. And uh, it should be just good as normal. So I'll just now you can let go of the home button once you get to the white screen. I forgot to tell you guys that. And I'll just keep my iPod up here. And it's just going to do its thing here while it's jailbreaking. But uh, once I get to a certain screen, I'll just cut the video again so you guys don't have to wait for just this boring stuff and me talking about random stuff. So uh, yeah, here we are. It says uh, downloading jailbreak data, which is good. Everything's going perfectly. I'm going to have the new 3.1.3 firmware, even though you put in 3.1.2 on Red Snow. That's fine. It's all good and normal. And uh, yeah, I'll just cut you guys off here, and I'll get you guys back in a second. So after it said uh, installing jailbreak data, you should get a screen like this, and it'll quickly load, all right, just like normal. And uh, here we go. It's just rebooting. As you can see, uh, my boot logo didn't actually work because... It was the wrong file I put in, but don't worry about all that stuff that I did earlier, guys. If you guys don't want to do that, that's fine. Just going to quickly let it boot up here, and I'll prove to you guys that I do have the new 3.1.3 firmware jailbroken. So here we go. Just simply slide to unlock like always, and just give it a second here. Slide over. Would you look at that? There's Cydia, right? Open it up. And the first time you do open it up, it will take about three minutes to load. So, not to worry about that, guys. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Sorry I haven't made a video for a while. Follow me on Twitter, link in the description. Catch you guys later.